China's latest leap in military technology is making waves and raising alarms across the Indo-Pacific. The Jutian unmanned aerial vehicle, unveiled by Chinese state media, is set for its maiden flight this June. But this isn't just another drone, it's a flying mothership, engineered to unleash swarms of smaller drones in a coordinated assault. While Chinese media hails it as a revolutionary weapon, critics say it's also a highly vulnerable target. So, is this a game changer or just a grand show of force? Developed by Jutian Aerospace, a private firm with state backing, the Jutian, meaning Nine Heavens, is a high-altitude, long-endurance platform. It's designed to fly up to 15 kilometers above sea level, beyond most radar systems and traditional drone ranges. With a wingspan of 25 meters and a takeoff weight of 16 tons, it carries a payload of up to 6 tons, enough to deploy over 100 micro UAVs in a single mission. These drones, many of them loitering munitions or kamikaze UAVs, are designed to saturate enemy defenses using swarm tactics. In combat, they can disrupt radar systems, communications hubs, and even strike mobile targets with precision. China's military envisions this as a force multiplier in any future conflict, particularly in contested areas like the Taiwan Strait or the South China Sea. China's investment in such advanced drone technology is part of a broader military acceleration. Its navy now boasts more vessels than the US Navy, and its missile arsenal has expanded significantly. The Jutian is just one piece of a larger puzzle that includes stealth drones like the CH-7, long-range systems like the TB-001, and sixth-generation fighter projects. It reflects a strategic shift toward integrated, unmanned, and networked warfare capabilities. But despite the excitement, not everyone is convinced. Military analysts warn that the Jutian's massive size makes it an obvious and vulnerable target. At its operating altitude, 15,000 meters, it still falls within the strike envelope of advanced air defense systems like America's THAAD and Patriot Pac-3, Taiwan's Skybo-3, and Japan's Aegis BMD. To operate safely, it would need substantial air suppression support, potentially putting other assets at risk. Furthermore, while China touts the Jutian as a near-ready combat platform, its true battlefield performance remains untested. Similar programs, like the U.S. Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency's Gremlins Initiative, have faced technical challenges in launching and recovering swarm drones from airborne platforms. Unlike those efforts, however, Jutian isn't aiming for mid-air recovery. Its swarms are likely one-way missions. Still, the psychological impact of a sky-darkening swarm can't be underestimated. Saturation attacks are designed to overwhelm defenses and create chaos. In a scenario like a conflict over Taiwan, the ability to deploy 100 autonomous drones from a high-altitude platform could tilt the balance, at least temporarily, by punching holes in early warning networks and command structures. The Jutian also has civilian applications, at least on paper. Its modular design allows for quick reconfiguration between missions, including emergency rescue, maritime surveillance, and public security. But make no mistake, its core mission is military dominance. China's defense sector is increasingly blending private sector innovation with state-driven military goals, accelerating development cycles and reducing costs. Whether the Jutian becomes a staple of China's air power or remains more symbolic than strategic, one thing is clear. Drone warfare is evolving. As conflicts like the war in Ukraine have shown, unmanned systems are no longer sideshows. They are frontline tools. And with each new iteration, they are becoming faster, deadlier, and more autonomous. For the US and its allies, the challenge now is not only to keep pace with this technological race, but to anticipate how such systems might be used in real-world flashpoints. The Jutian may be new, but the strategy behind it is ancient. Overwhelm your enemy, strike first, and control the skies. The age of the drone mothership has officially begun.